Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 After this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. Verse 3 again. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about, round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. All right, Shalom, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash. Even though I'm not a great millstone, may double honors be given unto the elder apostles, elder bishops, a great millstone, with time of this truth. May peace, blessings, salutations be given unto the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be, okay? Um, You know, of course, the Israelites... All right, are you know are built up of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, but you know, you know at this point, hey man, if you're not knowing that we're, we're Israelites, hey, I, I really don't know. All right, what what what, what you what what you what you're doing? All right, but um, you know, um, this lesson is going to be going into how the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai. All right, how the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, how they look like, okay? Now, this this uh, episode on Lucifer, where they showed that, you know, the Most High is a so-called black man, all right? You know, it um, it came it came out a while back, and I, I believe I may have done a video on it, or I may have deleted it, but, um... You know, pretty much, you know, it's one of the shows that that they admit what the Heavenly Father, you know, and his only begotten son look like. And by default, the holy angels. And that's that they're so-called Negroes. All right. With uh, white woolly hair, white woolly afros, white woolly beards. OK, you know, glows, shines and auras. All right. And, and skin, skin that's, you know, dark like brass that's been burned or darkened in a furnace okay that's how the most high and his only begotten son and the holy angels look like all right you know they're so-called negroid they're supernatural negroid entities so you can understand okay all right so when you read Revelation chapter 4, when you read Revelation chapter 4, right? And I, it said, after this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with, with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit and behold, a throne was set in heaven, meaning that John the Revelator, he saw the throne of the Heavenly Father, all right? And one sat on the throne, and that's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. Now, right here, the picture that you see right here on Google, this is an image, all right, of a jasper stone. And the stone is a brown stone. 
it's the stone the stone is the color of a so-called black man okay that's the color of the heavenly father yahweh that's the color of his only begotten son yahweh shai all right he that sat upon the throne looks like a jasper and a sardine stone brown they're brown stones which have a you know they have a little bit of a tinge of red in them but primarily they're brown stones and they're the color of a so-called black man you see and that's how the heavenly father yahweh looks like that's how his only begotten son yahweh Shah looks like okay and when you read revelation 1 13 through 15 which i'm gonna get he pretty much says that hey, he's so much of a so-called black man that he looks like brass that's been burned or darkened in a furnace. All right. So it shows you that. All right. Everything that you learn when you're growing up. That's why the scriptures say, hey, man, unless you be born again, you cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high because. We've been so grown and, you know, just to accept, you know, all the, you know, We've been so raised and, you know, grown up with all the lies and false teachings and false philosophies of the world and that Christianity plantation doctrine. God loves everybody. All right. And, you know, everybody can be saved. And ultimately behind all that is the so-called white JC savior depiction image of the so-called white man that was used to spread white supremacy of the so-called white man throughout the four corners of the planet earth okay and that's nothing all right but you know deception and lies you know the scriptures talk about that in the book of job chapter 9 verse 24 as a matter of fact let me get that right now all right because you know according to the scriptures all right according to the word of the of the heavenly father all right all the all the judges that the Lord is dealing with, including himself, his only begotten son. OK, the, the angels, the Israelites. All right. They're all so-called Negroes now dealing with the Israelites. You know, the so-called Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians are our people and they are the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel. Wherever, you know, despite, you know, you all 12 tribe black niggas, you know, but the reason why that they look like that is because of the Assyrian captivity that they went through before traveling around Africa to get to America. You see? That Assyrian captivity that they went through. All right. And then on top of that, you had, uh, you know, you know conquistadors and things like that and you had rape that took place okay and conversion to catholicism and all that and you had rape a lot of rape that took place so that's why they look the way that they do all right but before all that they were also so-called negroes all right because see at one point yeah all 12 tribes of israel were so-called negroid looking but because the Lord put the curses on us and because we've been scattered, you, you, you can't necessarily say all 12 tribes are black now because you got to accept that the Latinos, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians all right, are, our, are our Israelite brothers and they are the northern kingdom of the nation of Israel. You got to accept Israelite foreigners, Israelites from all 12 tribes that are scattered amongst all the nations that look Chinese, Japanese, Polynesian and so on and so forth. But on their seed line, they go back on their father's side they go back to us you see so now this is a uh, job 9 and 24 and it says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he so right now the most high has given the power of the planet earth to control it and govern it to the wicked and who's the wicked Esau pursuant to Malachi the first chapter the borders of wickedness they're the people of wickedness wherever they spread they go around the planet earth and have their territory they spread nothing but wickedness all right and they can't do anything outside of wickedness they are the physical carnal part of the spiritual demon Satan as a carnal physical race nation of people on the planet earth you see the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covered the faces 
of the judges thereof. So who covered the faces of the judges? That's what you call iconoclasm, which means to deface the image. All right. And that happened what? You know, during the uh, Renaissance period, the Renaissance, because it was the rebirth of the so-called white man. All right. Because what happened was you had the pagan Roman Empire going all the way back 2000, you know, over over 2000 years ago. Then you had the Dark Ages, also known as the Medieval Ages, also known as the Middle Middle Ages. OK. Or the medieval times and, you know, things of that nature. It, also known as the, the Byzantine Empire, also known as the Holy Roman Empire. That's when the so-called white man fell out of his power seat and starting off with Jake's like Septimius Severus. The so-called white man was brought down out of power and it was so-called Negroes that was controlling Rome, Russia and all Europe for a period of a thousand years of what you call the Dark Ages. And that's why the so-called white man calls it the Dark Ages because dark people, Negroes, were ruling during that time and they don't want to admit it. And they want to just say that it was a time that we don't know what was really happening because they're ashamed to admit that they were the ones that were getting their asses beat as slaves. All right. So when they came back into power, all right, that pagan Roman Empire came back into power. All right. In the form of the Renaissance. And that's what the scriptures talk about in Revelation, that the deadly wound or the, the beast, one of the heads were wounded to death. But the, 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 the deadly wound was healed because they came back into power during the Renaissance period as the as the pagan Roman Empire. You see, so. The so-called white man was responsible for for all that, for, you know, defacing and whitewashing all the images because during the time that we ruled, we always left up images to let you know that, yeah, we're, we're, we're so-called Negroes, all right? We're so-called Negroes, man. We're so-called black people. And we're over you so-called white people. And we always depicted the, the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, the angels, and, and ourselves to be so-called black people. But see, the so-called white man came back into power. He rebirthed into power with that pagan Roman version of the holy empire i mean that that salaki that salaki that that pagan version all right of the roman empire as opposed to jake which was the holy roman empire which really it wasn't holy because really it wasn't holy because jake was going off jake was going off jake was committing all kinds of sin all right you know and doing things that were was off okay but just for sake of being able to make you understand it was it was the it was uh the holy roman empire okay it was the pagan roman empire and the holy roman empire all right and then the pagan roman empire came back into power as what you know as the renaissance you see so during that time is when the so-called white man said you know what fuck these niggas all right, fuck them being the chosen people. We're going to hide, all right, the fact that they're the chosen people. All right, we're going to start this Christianity bullshit nonsense, okay? Yeah, we're going to uh, teach a universal doctrine that everybody can be saved and receive salvation. We're going to uh, push white supremacy. All right. You know, we're going to we're going to push white supremacy and we're going to use the image of the Cesare Borgia, Cesare Borgia, the so-called white JC. All right. Uh, image that you see everywhere. That was a man by the name of Cesare Borgia, who was a homosexual and incest and a faggot. We're going to use him to be the main image to spread okay uh so-called white supremacy throughout the four corners of the planet earth you see so the scripture pretty much is saying that look if it's not the so-called white man all right that this is talking about if not where and who is he because no other nation fits that prophecy. Okay, let's go to 
the book of uh first was the first Maccabees. Chapter 3, verse 48. All right. First Maccabees, chapter 3. All right. And. And verse 46, we'll start at verse 46. Wherefore, the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Maspah, Maspah, Maspah over against Jerusalem. For Maspah was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. When this says, then they then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes. All right, it says, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought sought to paint the likeness of their images. You see, so. This is a prophetic, prophetic talk. I mean, they're at an actual place and they're fasting and they're doing what it says. Okay. And they open, they actually were, were there at that place after casting those ashes upon that, upon their heads for mourning and things of that nature. But, um, the, 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 and laid open the book of the law where they were in the heathen had sought, sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's prophetic because, all right, they knew that uh, the, the spirit of the Lord had it written down because the Lord knew that the so-called white man was going to paint the likeness of his images. All right. I uh, dealing with what I was just talking about during the Renaissance and all this white supremacy art, which was just fabricated by the so-called white man. To try and hide the fact that we're the real people of the Most High Yahweh Shemir Shah, we're the real Israelites. Okay, they sought to paint the likeness of their images. Okay, because they what iconoclasm? They defaced the image. They de they they de defaced the image. Okay, and then they whitewashed it to make it look like them, and they put that up, and they sp they spread their supremacy through that image, and they come with that doctrine of Christianity so you can accept it. You see, and look how many of our people have fallen for it, man. Okay. You know. So, hey, man. Job 9 and 24 again. All right. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? And who is he? If it's not the so-called white man that fits it, who is it? All right. He is the wicked and he can rules and controls the planet Earth. Okay. He's the one that does white supremacy and hides the fact that we're the real people of the Most High, and he's not. Okay. So with that being said, okay. With th with that being said, when when the scriptures talk about that in the Book of Revelation, chapter four, okay, in verse three, how the one that sat upon the throne, which is the heavenly Father Yahweh, was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. It's really saying that that he's a so-called black man. Okay. <laughs> You know, and you got guys like uh, Vocab, okay, that is, you know, pretty much hired agents, okay, set up to try and debunk brothers, you know, from Great Millstone, starting off with the apostles, elder bishops on down, on scriptures that, you know, we, we use to, you know, starting off with those brothers, even though I'm not in Great Millstone, scriptures that are used through the spirit of Bob Yahweh Shemir Shah to teach the doctrine of Great Millstone, man. All right. You know, he pretty much is just set up to, you know, try to debunk the doctrine that brothers, you know, be teaching. Using scriptures like this to show you that, hey, what there's, you know, what brothers is saying, what the spirit really of Yahweh Shemir Yashai in us is saying is, is true according to the scriptures. That yes, the Most High, he is a so-called black man. But again, you got agents like Vocab Malone set up to try and debunk it, you know, to try and put it to sleep, but it's not working, man. It's not working. Okay, it's not working. All right, the truth of Yahweh Shemir Yashai is prevailing. Okay, and it only goes stronger and stronger. See, Vocab Malone and all these other dudes, 
Okay, they can't do anything against the truth before the truth, man. They're just helping, you know, you know, edify brothers and, you know, strengthen brothers in the faith. All right, faith, because every time this dude vocab balloon pops up, hey, the elder apostles, elder bishops on down, cut his ass. Okay. You know, he gets cut and he can't deal with it. You know, and in, in his recent videos, he admitted that, you know, he was pretty much set up, man, you know, but he tried to play it off like that's not what he was talking about. Oh, that's how Hebrew Israelites say I was hired. Nah, that's you admitting that. Yeah, you, you you're hired. You're a hired agent. But what you got to cover it up when you talk, you know. The Most High is not a liar, man. All right. He used John the Revelator to say what? All right. To say that he's a so-called black man. All right. Like a Jasper and a sardine stone. You just saw it right there. There's a Jasper stone, man. Okay. That's the color of a so-called black man. All right. That's the color of a so-called black man. And there's no getting around it. There's no getting around it. All right. Consolakia, you know, I did pause the video. I did pause the video, all right, because I was tired. I dozed off a little bit, all right, but you know, Salaki for that. I paused the video so you wouldn't have to, you know, hear anything. Now, this is a revelation. Just gonna pick up pretty much where we left off Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs, meaning his afro and his beard, were white like wool, as white as snow. So he has a white afro and a white beard. And when you go to the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter, which we're going to go there in just a second, you see that the, the actual texture of the hair of the heavenly father is like the pure wool meaning it's woolly kinky coily hair of a so-called negro okay you see so so the lord he has a white woolly hair a white afro a white beard okay his head and his hairs were white like wool, white as snow, and his eyes were as were as a flame of, of fire. So he has eyes that are like the morning, and also, you know, the Lord drank wine. It tells you that in Genesis 49, all right, his eyes shall be red with wine, okay, and his teeth white with milk, all right? Because the Lord was, uh, you know, he drank wine, all right, he drank a lot of wine. Okay, it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, okay, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters, you see? And brass is what? The color of brown, all right? Brass is a derivative of bronze, okay, which is which is a brown, all right? Brass is already brown on its own, okay, the color of a so-called black man. Okay, but, but, but like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So you take that piece of brass or, you know, you take bronze, okay? Really, really, I think the word there is supposed to be bronze, really. And you take that and you, um, you leave it in a furnace until it burns. It's going to be a very dark-skinned so-called black man. Color. Okay, so his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. All right, confirming, confirming, confirming that he's a so-called black man. Okay, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice has the sound of many waters, because he had a loud, deep, powerful, authoritative voice. Okay.
you see? Especially here when he's in God mode, man. You can't even imagine, all right, the glory of how his voice sounds like and how scary and terrifying it is, okay? You know? So let's go to the book of, let's go to the book of Daniel chapter 10 verse 5 and it says, Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold and euphaz. His body also was like the barrel and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, which really is supposed to be burnished bronze, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude, right? His body also was like the barrel because he had a green garment on, okay? He had a green, he had a green garment on, okay? And his face has the appearance of lightning because he has a shine, a glow, and an aura. All right. The countenance of a God. All right. Because he's the second most powerful God. Okay. In all of existence underneath his father. Okay. And, 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 and he sees such a God that he's to be worshipped as his father is to be worshipped because he's the actual he's the actual all powerful word of Yahweh personified man that's Yahweh Shai that's Yahweh Shai himself okay as a person man you see okay and and his uh features his features his facial features and all that, they're striking, unique, and intimidating, man. Okay? You know? All right? It doesn't just look like a regular so-called nigga that you see, man. All right? It says, and his eyes as lamps of fire. Okay? You know? And his arms and his feet. Um, like in color to polished brass, which are really supposed to be burnished bronze. Bronze that's been burned or darkened in the furnace. All right, that's how the Lord looks like, man. Okay, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Yeah, man. In Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Okay, and um, pretty much we can end it here. Okay, um, it says, I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. Okay, so this is talking about the actual Heavenly Father himself. It says, what that his garment, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So he has, what, an afro. So he's what, he's a so-called black man. Okay, you know. And if you can't accept it from here, by proving that the son is a so-called black man, by default, the father is a so-called black man. Because the son is, is, a, is a duplicate, duplicate of, the, uh, of the heavenly father himself, just as a, a, a separate entity. That's his, that's his son, that's his word, you know, uh, 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 that's his word. He, that's his all-powerful word manifested. In other words, Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father, they look like twins, but they look like twins and they're both perfect and they're both to be worshipped, okay? But they are separate entities, okay? But Yahweh Shai, all right, is, is, is still the all-powerful word of the Most High itself. Okay, you know, 
you know, that, 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 that we have to worship, you see, and he's above the angels and the demons, all right, we worship Yahweh, what, Yahweh Shai, okay, if you're not worshiping the son of the most high too, you got a problem, okay, I beheld that the thorns were cast down in the ancient of days did sit whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool, mm-hmm, an afro, a so-called black man. His throne was like the fiery flame. All right, and his wheels is burning fire. Okay. So, so the heavenly Father's hair is like is like the pure wool. Okay, so his afro is a special man, and it's uh, unique and different. All right, but you know the point is that he's still a so-called black man. Okay, all right, that's the point. All right, so. Um, that, that's, that's, that's really the point right there that I just made, man. You know, you know, the most time is, is son. All right. It's so-called Negroes. It's so-called black men. Okay. And all the people in Hollywood and in the entertainment industry, they know this. Okay. You know, they know this. All right. Now, everyone's been known about, you know, God being depicted as, you know, a so-called black man from Lucifer, the show Lucifer. Um, everyone, you know, you know, but I just decided to, you know, reuse it. All right. Just to do a lesson on it. Come on. We can got to find whatever we can use. Right. You know. You know, if it's good enough, you can do a lesson out of it. Hey, why not do a lesson out of it, man? You know. Um, furthermore, uh, furthermore, um, uh, what was I trying to say? What was I trying to say? Uh, damn. All right. Uh, God almighty was also depicted as a so-called black man in uh in uh the movie Bruce Almighty and the movie Evan Almighty all right Morgan Freeman all right he had the, the the small white afro and the small white beard okay so hey they they know all right they 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 know it man all right and all the way going back to the movie Green Pastures man okay he was a so-called black man and all the angels were so-called black men okay so hey you know they, they already know what it is man so hey you know with that i want to give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakudash even though I'm not a great millstone, double honest to the elder, elder apostles, elder bishops, a great millstone, peace, blessings, salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be. Um, you know, DTA, Kwam, Yasha, Allah, Ababa, Ball. And, um, you know, you know, Shalom, man. Um, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can just play. Uh, wait, Salaki. Okay, Khan. This is a. This is a what we were just reading in this lesson. Okay. You can see the wool there. All right. You can only get an afro out of that. You know. You see the jasper stone, and you see the sardine stone. All right. All right, you see the Sardin stone, all right? All right. To me, <clears throat> to me, that's clear that it's a so-called black man, okay?
yeah, they already know what it is, man. All right. You know, they already know what it is. All right. You saw that his face was as the appearance of lightning as we read, you know, he had that bright glow, man. Okay. You know, hey, but with that, you know, um, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakakwadash. Even though I'm not in Great Mosul, and double honest to the elder apostles, elder bishops of Great Mosul, with time of this truth. Peace, blessings, salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be. All right, uh, you know, I want to say DTA, Guam Yashallah. All right, Ababa Ball. All right, we got next. Shalom.